There's something strange about the place Voyager is in right now. It's not the cold, empty void we learn about in school. It's actually a strange, turbulent boundary where temperatures can skyrocket and magnetic fields twist and turn. It's the final frontier of our solar system, and it is far more complicated than anyone expected. Hi everyone! Before we jump into the deep cosmos, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more space mysteries. Ready? Let's blast off! Right now, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are the furthest human-made objects in history. They have crossed the heliopause, the exact point where the sun's wind loses its strength against the pressure of the galaxy. Here is the mind-blowing part. Scientists used to think this exit would be smooth and quiet. Instead, Voyager found a firewall. As solar wind slams into interstellar space, it compresses and heats up, creating a wall of plasma that is tens of thousands of degrees hot. Don't worry, the density is so low it won't burn the spacecraft, but it proves that deep space is alive and reactive. What makes this even more incredible is the technology. These probes were built in 1977. They are running on computer chips with less memory than a key fob. To save dwindling power, NASA has turned off their heaters. They are freezing cold, flying blind, and yet they keep sending data back, taking over 20 hours for a single signal to reach Earth. Eventually, their nuclear batteries will die, but they won't stop. They will drift silently for 30,000 years before even leaving our solar neighborhood, acting as eternal ghost ships carrying the story of humanity among the stars. It is humbling to realize these machines will likely outlast human civilization. What do you think is the scariest part of drifting alone in deep space? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.